It's the movie, guys. Today we're reviewing a movie about courage, inspiration, and hope. It's called Milk. Sean Penn stars as Harvey Milk, the first openly gay elected official to an office in the United States. It documents a period between about uh, 1970 to 1975 where he was uh, running for office, at least trying to, and finally elected. Let's take a look at the trailer. So, interesting clip. I think the clip actually draws a little more attention than actually is happening in this movie, although I like it. I felt this oh, you like how you like how they show Josh Brolin as being like the Antichrist? <laughs> a little bit. And he was, granted, he was probably a bad and a little odd person in this. I don't think he was, you know, completely a demon in this. Not at all. No. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I found it very interesting. I thought, you know, after about five minutes into this movie, Sean Penn just molded into Harvey Milk. And I, I did not see Sean Penn on the screen at all. I saw Harvey Milk. I totally agree with that. And the story was a little slow moving, but I did find myself feeling like I'm right there with their cause and going right along, moving right along with them. Every little bit and piece fighting along with them. Straight and right into it. I'm not, I'm, I enjoyed it. It was a good movie. I loved every performance in it. But did I get milk? I have no what mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Wisconsin, but this was I, I did not see Harvey Milk. Really? I saw see. Sean Penn. Even sometimes I saw Sean Penn from I Am Sam in it. Interesting. <laughs> I see I thought I'm not, that, was a, that wasn't even trying to joke. Yeah. No, no, no. I understand what you're saying, but I felt like his mannerisms were very unusual in this and that had to be like he sat down and studied video of Harvey Milk right. like crazy. Because yeah. in some times when he was doing some public speaking and he's like, I'm angry and the way he was moving his hands and everything. Mm -hmm. I thought he did a fantastic job. One thing that really added to this uh, for me is that Gus Van Zandt directed this. And I, I've seen his works before, and I know that there's a big, great moment of tension that's coming, and I know something terrible is going to happen. We know that Harvey Milk was assassinated in the end of this, so that we knew that that was coming. But the tension building up to How does he do that, though? I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> I'm serious. Was it the music? Was it... Just, I think it's just the way he moves the camera. Right, and you knew exactly yeah, yeah. what was going to happen. I mean, that, that scene, when it leads up to it, you know exactly what's about to happen, but yet your heart is beating. Yeah. James Franco in it was probably my favorite part, his relationship with Harvey Dent. Yeah. Harvey Dent. And uh, Harvey Dent, I said. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong movie. <laughs> but with, with uh, James Franco and Sean Penn's relationship in the movie, I missed James Franco when he wasn't on the screen. You're right. He should have been. I think that. more of James Franco would have helped me along. But I think that was the story. I know, yeah. Right, so. They're not going to make things up. 
Right. Yeah. Never. They never do that in movies. So <laughs> I, I definitely say run to the theater and see Milk. It is a masterpiece. Yeah. If you want to see an inspirational story about a man who stood up for what he believed in, see, see Milk. And Milk is very good too. If you want to learn like how uh, the voting process goes and how election and how pe little people can change big things, that's why you want to see Milk. And that's the movie, guys. We'll see you by the theater place. See ya. See ya. Bye. Sometime.